Hello and welcome to this video in which we will cover the topics of probability density functions and cumulative distribution functions. These two types of functions provide a means of computing probabilities associated with random variables. We will begin with the cumulative distribution function. The cumulative distribution function is defined as follows. If I have a random variable x, the cumulative distribution function is generally written by f of x and f of x, this is a capital F of x by the way, f of x is defined as the probability that the random variable x is less than some constant value x. The relationship between the probability density function, or PDF, and the cumulative distribution function, or CDF, is the following. The probability density function, which we represent by a lowercase f, is the derivative of the cumulative distribution function with respect to x. Using the fundamental theorem of calculus, we can say that the cumulative distribution function, f of x, is the integral from minus infinity to x f of z dz, where this is the probability density function and z is a dummy variable of integration shows plots of the cumulative distribution function and the probability density function for what's called an exponential random variable. This function here is the density function and this function here is the cumulative distribution function. So if you look at these hopefully you can see that the density function is the slope of the cumulative distribution function. So if I look at the cumulative distribution function down here, it has a fairly steep slope and that's represented by a larger value up here. If I go out here, the cumulative distribution function has a fairly small slope and that's represented by a small value of the probability density function. I can also relate the cumulative distribution function of the density function in the sense that the cumulative distribution function is the integral of the density function. So for example, the cumulative distribution function at this point is the integral under the density function from minus infinity, and since the density function is defined to be zero for values of x less than zero, it's basically this area right here. And so you can see that as x gets larger, the cumulative distribution function increases because I'm looking at a larger area. We can use these relationships to compute the probabilities associated with a random variable. For example, to compute the probability that a random variable x falls on the interval between some value x1 and x2, it turns out this is the integral from x1 to x2 of the density function, where again z is a dummy variable of integration, and I can also show that this is equivalent to f of x2 minus f of x1. So in the case where we have an exponential random variable, suppose we want to find the probability that the random variable lies between 1 and 2. In terms of the probability density function, this would be the integral from 1 to 2 of the density function. Conceptually, this is the area under the density function between 1 and 2. And so if you want to, you can actually work that integral. However, as we also saw, I can take the cumulative distribution function, evaluate it at 2, which would give me this point here, evaluate it at 1, and the difference between this value and this value 
would give me this probability, which also turns out to be the area under the density function. So in this particular example, this probability will be f of 2, the cumulative distribution function at 2, minus f of 1. And for this particular exponential distribution, f of 2, 0 0.865, f of 1 is 0 0.632, and when I subtract those two, I get 0 0.233. So this pretty much concludes this video. Again, the important concepts, we've introduced the probability density function and the cumulative distribution function. We've explained their relationship to each other, and we've shown how you can use the cumulative distribution function to find the probability that your random variable lies in an interval. So that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.